Welcome to a special summer edition of West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Right. This Thanks week, lot, while guys. the president focused on the developing situations both in Iraq and in our nation's heartland in Ferguson, Missouri, West Wing Week tagged along for the first few hours and days of one of the newest employees here at the White House and for the launch of the newly created U.S. Digital Service. That's August 8th to August 14th, or Mikey Goes to Washington. Throughout the week, the president kept the country updated on developments in Iraq, and on Thursday, he addressed the situation in Ferguson, Missouri. I know that many Americans have been deeply disturbed by the images we've seen in the heartland of our country as police have clashed with people protesting. Uh, today, I'd like us all to take a step back and think about how we're going to be moving forward. Uh, this morning, I received a thorough update on the situation from Attorney General Eric Holder, who's been following it. Uh, and been in communication with his team. Now's the time for healing. Now's the time for peace and calm on the streets of Ferguson. Uh, now is the time for an open and transparent process to see that justice is done. And I've asked that the Attorney General and the U.S. Attorney on the scene uh, continue to work with local officials uh, to move that process forward. Uh, they will be reporting to me in the coming days about what's being done to make sure that happens. On Monday morning at 8 a.m., Mikey Dickerson, a top private sector engineer who was part of the team that helped fix healthcare.gov, arrived at the White House gates for the first day of his new job to serve as the administrator to launch the U.S. Digital Service. Building on the same proven strategic approach that ultimately enabled millions of Americans to sign up for health insurance, this small team of America's best digital experts will work in collaboration with other government agencies towards simplicity and efficiency to make websites more consumer friendly, to identify and fix problems, and to help upgrade the government's technology infrastructure. Interacting with the government shouldn't be a thing that you automatically dread. Uh, things like, like filing your taxes, this is like on the list of things that people put in, that usually mention in the same sentence as like uh, going to the dentist and stuff like that, right? And it's probably never going to be exactly fun, uh, but uh, but a lot of like look at the experience people had trying to sign up for healthcare.gov at first. Things like that should be a process that you go through and immediately forget about because it wasn't any big deal. Uh, and all of your other interactions with the government could be that smooth. If we are a smash success. Uh, then a few years from now, you won't even know that we exist. You won't even remember that we ever existed uh, because government technology is basically fine. You can find out more about any of these topics and see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. And thanks so much for checking out this edition of West Wing Week. Today, senior administration officials will hold a call to discuss the White House's launch of the U.S. Digital Service. I assume that this is going to be read in like the movie trailer voice. Yeah. Or else the one who does the like tractor. In the world. Yeah.